Hill's health declined in the late 1980s. After a mild heart attack on February 24, 1992, doctors told him he needed to lose weight and recommended a heart bypass. He declined, and a week later was found to have kidney failure. Hill died at the age of 68 on April 20, 1992. On April 22, after several days of unanswered telephone calls, his producer, Dennis Kirkland, climbed a ladder to the balcony of Hill's third-floor flat and upon seeing the body through a window had the neighbors call the police. The police broke into the flat and found Hill, dead, sitting in his armchair in front of the television. Hill's cause of death was recorded as coronary thrombosis. The only will that Hill had established dated to 1961 and left everything to his parents, but of course it was out of date and both beneficiaries had long since died. Next in line were his brother Leonard and sister Diana, neither of whom were close to him, but they too were deceased and as a result, his estate, worth £7.5 million, went to seven nieces and nephews. After his death, it was reported that there was a document where Hill reportedly left his estate to friends such as Sue Upton, Dennis Kirkland, Bob Todd, Louise English and Henry McGee, but it was never signed or witnessed and as a result, it had no legal standing. Hill was buried at Hollybrook Cemetery near his birthplace in Southampton on April 26, 1992. In October 1992, following rumors that he was buried with large amounts of gold jewelry, an attempt was made by thieves to exhume his body. When authorities looked into his open grave the following morning the vandals had dug down, exposing his coffin. Within two hours of the discovery, cemetery staff had refilled the grave and covered it with a half-ton concrete slab.